The high school football season is now just 48 hours away. Tonight we continue our score previews with a snap at Bettendorf for the Bulldogs are quietly focused on getting back on top. Getting better, getting better, good, good rip. The Bettendorf Bulldogs don't need to look nope. too far for motivation this fall. It definitely feels, but I just don't focus on the doubt. Just focus on what we have next. The Bulldogs are coming off of back-to-back five-win seasons, results that are rare at Bettendorf. A lot of people doubt us. That kind of put us on edge, but it just makes us want to go hard, just prove everybody wrong that Bendorf is still Bendorf and we're still going to be the top team. It's just the overall effort's been great and the, the um, just the mindset, how they're approaching their business has, has been solid. I like where we're at, but that being said, you got to see where we are. The Bulldogs return plenty of familiar faces this season on both sides of the football. Leaders both on and off the field. Your senior leadership's a big deal, and, and some years you have it and some years you don't, and I feel like we got some pretty good kids right now and that have really embraced what we're trying to do. One question that does still remain is under center. Black, black, ready. Where a pair of Bulldogs are still competing at quarterback. We want to be as balanced as we can, and um, you know we'll have a new quarterback, which is always you know a challenge. We got two of them that look great right now, and we have our returning rushers back. We got three offensive linemen back on on the offensive line. There have been plenty of positives at Bettendorf this summer. Now their longtime head coach wants that to translate to Friday nights. Yeah, you know, we'll see. I, again, I don't want to be, I don't want to say anything until we get in the, in, and actually play a game. But uh, you know, we're real excited about where we are. The Bulldogs will open their season this Friday night on the road at Urbandale. Our score previews continue tomorrow with a stop at Pleasant Valley. And don't forget the Quad Cities only half hour high school football show is the score. It returns this Friday night at 1035.